In this video, we will be going over how to log in and set up your Light Edition VNS3 controller in AWS. First, navigate to the Instances page in the AWS EC2 console. Once you have launched your VNS3 controller, make sure TCP port 8000 is open in your cloud security groups. For best practice, we recommend only opening this port to the public IP you will be using to access the web UI or API. Make sure your controller is in a subnet that has internet access. To ensure this, check your AWS routing table associated with the subnet where your VNS3 controller lives. You will need a route to 0000/0 with the internet gateway as the target. In your web browser, navigate to the public IP associated with your controller using HTTPS on port 8000. It will take a couple of minutes for your Light Edition controller to launch because it has a pre-built license installed. If you see this screen, wait a couple of minutes. The controller is creating cryptographic credentials for the overlay network, which is optional to use. You will arrive at the VNS3 login page. The default username is VNS cubed and in AWS, the default password is the instance ID. We recommend changing this password before moving forward. Note in the event you forget or misplace your UI and or API password, they can be reset via AWS user data. If you would like to change the overlay network CIDR, you will need to reset defaults. To do this, navigate to the reset underscore defaults URI as shown. This will take a few minutes. Following the reset, edit the license parameters to customize the overlay network CIDR. In this example, we are using the Light Edition VNS3 controller, which comes with a built-in license providing 10 point to site client packs utilizing WireGuard, four IPsec connections, unlimited IPsec tunnels, two plug-in slots, unlimited bandwidth, full capability of the firewall, and much more. If you will be setting up point-to-site VPNs via WireGuard or site-to-site -site IPsec VPNs, you will need to stop source destination checking on the instance. You will also need to allow UDP port 51820 in your security groups for WireGuard connections. For site-to-site -site IPsec connections, you'll need to allow UDP port 500 and UDP port 4500 for NAT traversal or UDP port 500 and ESP protocol 50 for native IPsec. Links to additional information and documentation can be found in the description of this video. If you have any questions, please email cohesive support at support at cohesive.net.